1992 elections. Rawlings established the National Commission on Democracy NCD, shortly after the 1982 coup, and employed it to survey civilian opinion and make recommendations that would facilitate the process of democratic transition. In March 1991, the NCD released a report recommending the election of an executive president, the establishment of a national assembly, and the creation of a prime minister post. The PNDC used NCD recommendations to establish a committee for the drafting of a new constitution based on past Ghanaian constitutions, that lifted the ban on political parties in May 1992 after it was approved by referendum. On November 3, 1992, election results compiled by the INEC from 200 constituencies showed that Rawlings NDC had won 60% of the votes, and had obtained the majority needed to prevent a second round of voting. More specifically, the NDC won 62% in the Brong Ehafo region, 93% in the Volta region, and majority votes in Upper West, Upper East, Western, Northern, Central, and Greater Accra regions. His opponents Professor Adu Bohan won 31% of the votes, former President Hila Liman won 6.8%, Kweban Adarko won 2.9%, and Emmanuel Erskine won 1.7%. Voter turnout was 50%. The ability of opposition parties to compete was limited by the vast advantages Rawlings possessed. Rawlings' victory was aided by the various party structures that were integrated into society during his rule, called the Organs of the Revolution. These structures included the Committees for the Defense of the Revolution, CDRs, Commando Units, December 31st Women's Organization, the June 4th Movement, People's Militias and Mobi Squads, and operated on a system of popular control through intimidation. He had a monopoly over national media and was able to censor print and electronic media through a PNDC newspaper licensing decree, PNDC Law 221. Moreover, Rawlings imposed a 20,000 sadies, about $400, cap on campaign contributions, which made national publicity of opposition parties virtually impossible. Rawlings himself began campaigning before the official unbanning of political parties and had access to state resources and was able to effectively meet all monetary demands required of a successful campaign. Rawlings traveled across the country, initiating public works projects and giving public employees a 60% pay rise prior to the election day. Opposition parties objected to the election results citing incidences of vote stuffing in regions where Rawlings was likely to lose and rural areas with scant populations, as well as a bloated voters register and a partisan electoral commission. However, the Commonwealth Observer Group, led by Sir Ellis Clark, approved of the election as free and fair, as there were very few issues at polling stations and no major incidences of voter coercion. In contrast, the International Foundation for Electoral Systems, IFES, issued a report supporting claims that erroneous entries in voter registration could have affected election results. The Carter Center did acknowledge minor electoral issues but did not see these problems as indicative of systematic electoral fraud. Opposition parties boycotted subsequent Ghana parliamentary and presidential elections, and the unicameral National Assembly of which NDC officials won 189 of 200 seats and essentially established a one-party parliament that lacked legitimacy and only had limited legislative powers. After the disputed election, the PNDC was transformed into the National Democratic Congress NDC.